Hey, what's up, all my fellow Slayers? It is Zombie Slayer 2948 here again with another video, and here I have Brady with me, and he's always T posing in every single one of my damn videos. So today, guys, the month you guys have all been waiting for the 400 subscriber special. Now, in this special video, we'll be doing a PC building video. Now, I have my boy Brady right here because I need an extra set of hands, so he's going to be very, very helpful with a lot of this stuff. What What are you doing? Extra set of hands. I mean, yeah. All right, so, so you, how about we go go on and tell like what the parts we yeah. have? So, the first thing we have right here is the ASRock 970M Pro 3 motherboard. It supports AM3 uh, processors, which is the one I have. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, just when I got myself a new motherboard, so everything's like mostly brand new. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that, that's the motherboard we'll be using for this video. Now, the CPU is over here because it's the same CPU I had in my previous computer. We'll be using the AMD FX8350. The CPU has been really good to me. It's been you know, very good produ productivity for me. So we're just gonna use the same CPU that I've been using currently. All right, the next thing we have is two sticks of DDR3 RAM, eight giga, uh, you know, both are eight gigabytes, which equals about 16 gigabytes. They're, uh, they're Corsair Vengeance RAM. Um, Got the nice heat spreaders on them. Oh yeah, that's right, that has, has the heat spreaders and everything. So we're, we're gonna put that right there. Now the power supply is the same power supply I've been using, it just went and packaged it up again. We'll be using the Corsair CX650M power supply. Uh, yeah, we taped it up, because we're, we're all supposed to be brand new on this channel, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what else? Uh, the graphics card. This is also uh, things we'll be using uh, You know that I've had in my current computer. We'll be using the MSI Radeon RX 570. It's VR ready. That's, that's, this is the one I've been using with all my uh, VR videos. I will be making more hopefully very, very soon. But uh, so that's the, um, that's the graphics card for you guys. Now, the Cooler Master Liquid Cooler. Now, this is my first time actually using a liquid cooler. I've been mostly using like uh, stock, you know, uh, heat sinks and stuff like that. So, this is my first time using a liquid cooler. So, this may be a good experience for me, yeah. you know? So, Luckily, it's an all in one unit, so, so you won't have to deal with any tubes or putting water oh, yeah, in it. Because I, I would probably mess that up badly if I <laughs> use actual water. So, this, this does come with a fan with the. Uh, the cooler, but we're not, we're not going to be using the, uh, the stock fan in here. We will be using this fan right here. This is the Corsair AF120 Quiet Edition fan. And it's also LED for white. It's, my whole PC is mostly going to be white, so you guys will see that in a second. So that's the fan right there. Now, the fans that are, that are in the case, we'll get to that in a second, are mostly three pins. So we went ahead and got ourselves a three pin Molex fan adapter in case we need to attach more yeah. fans or whatever or like the pump. Alright next we have the thermal paste which this is the Corsair TM30. I have a lot of Corsair products here. I'm a good big Corsair fan. Sponsored Set by Corsair. No it is not. Hopefully. Call me. Uh, but even though I use like a Razer keyboard, uh, I love using Corsair products and they, they've been they've been pretty good to me. Yeah. So we'll be using a Corsair uh, that stuff. <laughs> All right, uh, what else have we missed out? Oh yeah, so we'll be using a one terabyte hard drive right here. This is a WD Blue, it's just a standard hard drive. It's actually from the same PC, so that way I don't have to reinstall Windows and you know, that'll be a pain in the ass if I had to Good reinstall Windows. Good old WD Blue. Good old WD Blue. So, with all that being said, oh, the case. Uh, you wanna go ahead and get the case? All right, guys, and the last piece we'll be using is the Fractal Design Focus G computer case. I bought this for about, I want to say, 70 bucks, and it, I, what I, from what I've heard, it's actually a pretty good PC case. It's white, so we'll be unboxing crap here in a bit. But, um, am I missing anything? We forgot to get air. Air. Yeah, we forgot to uh, get air canisters for dusting. But, but since most of, the, most of the stuff is mostly new, I don't think we'll need it. I think it'll yeah. be fine, you know? So, we'll do that later. With that being said, let's go ahead and put this... Uh, let's actually keep this over here for now. And I did forget one more thing. We'll be using a... Just a generic uh, uh, optical disc drive. Just so I can put like actual disc in and watch movies and stuff like that. From my PC so I don't have to get up and just go on my bed. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and move some stuff 
off of the table and let's go ahead and unbox the case first. Alright, so of course we're going to be unboxing the computer case first. So this is just some documentation that came with that went in and took that out in case we need it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my knife right here. Hey, yo. What? I got gotcha. you. Oh. Oh, what the, what the hell is this? Is this a thing from a fence post? What, I what is this? Fifth. I pleaded the fifth. Alright, well I guess we'll be using this trident. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's go ahead and cut the box right here. Ah, there we go. Come on. Alright, let me just put this right here. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's open this baby up. Alright. Spicy. Oh yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over like this. You wanna get on that side real quick? Yeah. We're gonna flip it over like this and we're gonna place it down like this way. Oh yeah. And just gonna sli <laughs> slightly pull it off. Oh shit, that shit shocked me. It shocked you? Yeah. Well, we're on it messing up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, so we got the case right here. Let's gonna take off the styrofoam. Oh, Sexy. yeah. Here, I'll take, gonna take that piece off right there. Here we go, guys. Oh, you guys can barely see it, but here we go. We got the case and everything ready right here. Case is big, big. It's actually pretty big. It's pretty decent sized. So there is film on here. So you want you want to go and take that off, or you want to wait till uh, afterwards? Probably wait till afterwards. Afterwards, so yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and take the panel off over here, so that way we can install the motherboard. All right. Panel is off. Hold that for me, man. All right. So since you guys can't see over here, I'll be using my phone to show you guys what we'll be messing with over here. All right. So let's go ahead and around. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and lay it down. And let's go ahead and take this thing out right here. So, and here we have, I believe, the standoffs and any other stuff that we possibly may need. Ooh, so we got, we got a couple screws right there. We have more screws, some zip ties. And uh, the standoffs should be also in here. Yes, I believe so. I believe those are the standoffs. My case came with the standoffs already in it. Oh, really? But these, you have to put them in. All right, do you know which ones they are? Yeah, there are those. It's little small ones? Yeah. Alright, so, and we also got a couple of zip ties, more zip ties, for the cable management. What is cable management? No one knows. Alright, so, the next piece we need to put in here is the, mother the motherboard right here. Alright, so, if you could do the honors and give me a little trident. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the trident. All right, so I need to find out the right way to actually take this out. So give me one second. All right, here we go. All right, so what are we, what is this? Like just a little manual book? Man, eh, no one needs that, who needs that? All right, we got the IO shield put on the side Nobody over here. Nobody needs an IO shield. <laughs> of course we need that. All right, oh, we got a SATA cables. So we'll mm. definitely need that. Spicy. And the motherboard herself. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take my phone right here and show you guys the motherboard itself. So give me one second. All right guys, so I got the phone right here and here is the motherboard right here in all of its black, gray, and white glory. Look at that. All right guys, so unbeknownst to me, the camera stopped recording, but I think we're good now. Hopefully we're good. So I, was managed, to, I managed to save the audio files and the actual camera file, so we're using a different SSD, unfortunately. So, with that being said, where do we left up? leave off? We, we need to start putting the standoffs in That's the right, we need to start putting the standoffs in here. Alright guys, so Brady is currently installing the standoffs to install the motherboard. So Brady, tell us where the holes are actually, or the standoffs are going to be installed. So, at. we're installing wherever these six holes are. We're installing where it is in the motherboard. And these standoffs are so you can screw the motherboard, screw screws in there through the motherboard. Okay, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and install the standoffs guys and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so we got the standoffs installed right here. We only we were only able to install five because one of them wasn't able to screw in. So next we're gonna install the IO shell which is gonna be placed 
right over here, which is gonna be for these components right here, like audio, USB, uh, like stuff like that to connect our peripherals, you know what I mean? Yeah, when you're buying a used motherboard, this is most often the piece that's missing, and you definitely want this piece, because otherwise there'll just be a hole in the back of your computer. And that will not be good at all, guys. All right, so Brady has successfully fastened in the I.O. shield, which is a very, very important part for the motherboard. All right, so the next thing we need to do is lower the motherboard onto the sockets. So let's go ahead and slightly put it in, Brady, if you will. He's now installing it right now. Now, you have to be careful because you need to align the sand off so that you're able to actually screw it in. So, Brady is just making sure everything is in place. Sometimes and these don't like to go in the hole. There. Is it all in? Yeah. There, now we can. Alright. So, the next part we need to do is screw in the these types. screws. So, which types? These types. These types right here? Yeah. Alright, so me and him are both going to help out screwing them in, and we will be right back. And a very important part, guys, make sure you don't over tighten yeah. your motherboard, because that will not be good at all. Just be sure you guys are careful when screwing in your motherboard, because you guys do not want to over fasten your motherboard. So, Brady here uh, actually dropped a screw into the case, now it's going to route it around into the PC forever, we're never gonna find it. So, congrats, Brady. All right, guys, so the motherboard is successfully fastened into the case. It actually looks really, really nice with this case. It really does, with all the black and silver. It looks really nice, guys. All right, so, the next thing we need to do is install the CPU. All right, so we got the CPU, the AMD FX8350. So, what we're gonna do is just take this right here and then open it up right here. I should actually show you guys what to do so that I can help you guys out. <laughs> Dylan, why aren't you showing us? I'm trying to, okay? All right, guys, so if you see this little latch right here, you just need to pull that this way, and it'll just, just come up like that. And if you have an Intel one, it'll like just spray yeah. out. And with some Intel ones, there should be, and some Intels, there's one on this side, there's one on this side. So don't be afraid to put pressure when you're putting the CPU, once the CPU is fastened in. Don't, just don't be afraid to put pressure on here. It'll feel like you're putting a lot of pressure, you feel like you might break it. Just be careful with the pins. Yeah, just be very careful with these pins right here. So One Brady of them bends, your CPU is... Is absolutely screwed. So once you go ahead and put it in, put it in the right way. Now be sure not to push down on it, because if you guys push down on the CPU, you may have a chance of damaging the pins. So everything is fastened? Yep. Alright, so what we're going to do is take this latch right here, and it may feel like you guys are putting like a lot of pressure, but you guys really aren't. But there we go, the CPU is finally installed. Alright guys, so the next part we're going to be putting in is the water cooler right here. Uh, if you guys uh, don't know what this one is, I might have already said it in the video he was in the video. Uh, this is the Cooler Master, Master Liquid Light 120, and it comes with a 120 millimeter fan, but we'll be using, if you want to get the fan right there, we will be using the the Corsair one right here. An Actually, overpriced Corsair fan? You know what we should not. do first? We what? should install the RAM first. I was thinking that, but it, yeah. it'll be easier to install the block when the RAM's not in the way. True, true. All right, so we're gonna so with some uh, with most motherboards actually, it comes with a standouts for like an air cooler. So with those, we don't need those at all in this build. So what we're gonna do is put it up right right here, and we're gonna screw that. We go there. It is. Oh, this is just what we're gonna from the back. So what we're gonna do is unscrew the back of the case right here, and take off that uh, back plate right there. We also uh, unscrew the actual mounts that are on the motherboard. So that way we could install the mount for the cooler itself. See this bolt right here? I like it because that gives you more room for your cable management. True. So you guys probably can't see over here, but it's just mostly emptiness. There's a few cables back here, which is mostly like front header cables. All right, so the screws are actually on this side right here. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to take the screw. Rip. I'm gonna take the screwdriver, put the actual thing back in there, and what I'm gonna do is unscrew these parts of. Um, there we go. I got it. There we go. All right. So 
most of these come with like at least four screws. So I wish this uh, screwdriver was like magnetic. I think it is. Is it? Yeah, should be. I don't think it is. It should. The screws might be not. The screws also have to be a magnetic for it to work. All right, so the first bracket is off. Brady is removing the last bracket, and then we will be good to go. All right, the brackets and the screws are off. So now we are going to be able to open the liquid cooler. So what we're going to do with the case is we're going to pick this up right here and just place it just right there, just on the edge. Wait a minute. So, yeah. what's up? It has tape on it. You know what that means? Oh yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah, the trident. <laughs> the trident of opening packages. All right. So I just want to. I want to like rip this thing open. So I want to see like where it's, the actual it's piece. It's right is. here. It's on these sides. Okay, I got gotcha. you. They always say cut away from you, uh, but if you guys are watching this, please cut. Oh, you know, cut away from you, because I am an idiot who knows nothing about opening boxes. All right. Oh, oh, that's nice. That is nice. All right. So let's go ahead and take oh, this cooler out. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. I like that. Yeah. So let's go ahead and set that right there. All right. So. And we got the one four, not the one four. We got the the one twenty millimeter fan, but we'll be using this one, so we'll be yeah, using this, this one this on the radio. Fan. All right, so we got the bracket installed on the cooler. Now the question is, where are we going to be able to put the radiator itself? It's not going to fit up. I don't... Should we yeah, try putting it up here? Yeah. Yeah? Alright, so what we need to do first is put on the fan. Alright, so we made some pretty good progress. So, where should we put the radiator? Definitely on the top. So we are back from our break. The camera is surprisingly fully charged now. So the progress we've made so far is we got the we got the uh, we got the motherboard installed. We got the CPU installed. We got the cooler installed. So let's go and flip this on the back real quick because now the next thing we are install. going to do is install the RAM. All right, guys. So here are the sticks of RAM right here. They're Corsair. Vengeance RAM. So what you're gonna want to do with these types of, uh, or or with you know when you are installing RAM is there's these little tabs right here, both on the bottom and on the top. You just push these back right here, and now it's ready to be inserted. So it's gonna take this first stick of RAM right here. Now you gotta be sure that you line it up with the socket itself. So if I'm right, this should be the right way. All right, it is lined up right now, and you just gotta. Now, don't be afraid if you're gonna. Yeah, now it's 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 securely installed. Now, you guys may think you're putting down a lot of pressure when doing uh, RAM, but just don't be afraid. Just put a slight bit of pressure. A good now. tip is to press on one side and then press on the other. And that true. Works. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the second gigabyte, not gigabyte, uh, stick of RAM. Is it good? No. Nope. All right, Brady's gonna get it. Since apparently I can't simply install RAM. And is it good? There most, we most go. Most motherboards they alternate, so the RAM sticks won't be right beside each other. They'll be like that. All right. So we got the sticks of RAM installed, which is pretty pretty simple to do. Yeah. All right. So the next thing we are going to do is what should we do next? How about the hard disk drive? Not the hard disk drive. The optical drive, right here. All right. So Brady just uh, took out the 
plates right there that we oh, need. Oh man, it's got a dust filter. Oh, it also has a dust filter? That's it's, nice. It's got a filter. Within a filter. It's got a filter on the front cover. That's that's good design. All right, so why am I gonna go ahead and do that, guys? You don't even need to uh, see this with the phone. I'm just going to put this right here and just slide it right in. Boom, now it's, it's ready to go. So, yep, I just need these two screws right here. So my, I'll just use the screwdriver right here. Yeah. So, let me just go ahead and put this upside down um, real quick. Yeah. All right, there we go. So, we just need to put this screw right. Uh, I put them there. All right, guys, so he completely installed the front, all the front header connectors to the motherboard. So, we are good to go with that. All right, guys, so we made a lot of progress. So, the next thing we're going to install is the hard drive. So, with this case, it comes with the things right here. So these tabs. Oh wait, does it have it to go with screws? Or does it just slide in? It literally just snaps in. Snaps in. Oh, okay. So with these ones, you guys don't. I, don't, I believe you don't need any uh, screws for this one. Although it may be uh, highly, you know, recommended to use screws. You know. Yeah. But in this case, we're not going to use screws for now. All right. Hard drive is successfully installed. So we're just going to go ahead and slide it back in like so. All right, now it is completely fastened. We got everything connected so far. All right guys, so we have made a lot of progress so far. We got the CPU cooler installed. We got the CPU itself installed, the motherboard, the RAM, the, the hard disk drive, um, the optical disk drive, did I ever say yeah. that? All right, yeah. so, no? Yeah, I didn't say it yet. CPU, cooler, RAM, hard drive, motherboard, and the hard disk and the optical drive installed. Yeah. So we have six things installed. So the next thing, which is the best that we're going to install, is the graphics card. A graphics uh, oh, man. gaming computer isn't very good without a graphics card. Unless you want to use the, the built-in uh, graphics, quote unquote graphics card on the motherboard, which I would definitely not recommend, especially for gaming. Yeah, so unless you're playing old games. And take this baby out. All right. And who needs that? And we got this as well. That went flying. <laughs> and here it is, guys. The graphics card. So, what we're gonna do is lay this right here. Now, we gotta find out which of these brackets we need to uninstall. So the best way to do this is not actually put it in, but just to see which cables or screws you may need to take out. Which, in the case, it's, I believe, these two. Yeah. So, which, what's cool about this motherboard is you you can actually uh, connect two graphics cards yeah. with this motherboard. So that's actually very helpful. So let's get our trusty little screwdriver right here and install, install and remove the first two screws right here from the brackets. All right, so we got the cables, not the cables, we got the, all right guys, so we got the screws out, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and place the graphics card in, so can we actually do it like this? Important thing about computers, keep track of your screws. Definitely keep track of your screws. Also, in case you need to like take another part out in the future, hold on to your screws, because those can be very, very important. There we go. All right, so we got the graphics card installed, everything else is installed, so he's gonna go ahead and tighten that. I'm gonna clean up, clean up a little bit over here. Obviously you guys can see it because the braid is very big hunchback back and it will be batteries. right back. All right guys, so we fully got almost everything in the case except one more thing, which is the power supply. We don't need a power supply, what are you talking about? All right, also, we also need to connect the SATA cables to the hard drive and the optical disk drive for them to actually work. So why don't we go ahead and do that real quick. All right guys, so the camera died again, so for the rest of this video, I'll be using my iPhone. So what Brady is doing is actually switching out the SATA cables we just connected and put in, uh, just swapping them for the you know the other one. Because this one needs a 90 degree, uh, it's a 90 because it's so close. I gotcha. And as with the, uh, the optical one, you can just plug it right in. So let me show you the progress from over here so you guys can see it. So here is everything so far. I just turned the fan on for both my back. But here's everything so far. It is looking really, really nice. And I hopefully, hopefully the stain boots up. 
If not, we're in trouble. All right, guys, so the last and final thing we need to put in the computer is the power supply. So, just going to take it out and just drop all the cables. Yes. Okay. Now, what's cool about this uh, power supply is that it comes with the basic cables you need for the computer. Like, this one right here is powered to is the one to power the motherboard itself. And this one right here is the one to power the CPU. So, we got everything we need. We don't even need the extension cable, which I, I got from the uh, Bell computer over here. So, we're gonna go ahead and install the power supply. This is a semi-modular power supply because these are not replaceable. True. I, not to flex, but I have a fully modular supply. So I can replace these cables and get shorter ones or longer ones. That's true. So. Without any more bragging, let's go ahead and install the power supply. Alright, so he successfully placed the power supply into the unit. So what we gotta do is route these two cables in the back of the computer so we can plug it in to the power source for the motherboard and the power source for the CPU that's up here. So while he's cleaning up a little bit, I'll get right on that. Well guys, well guys, it's done. You got you gotta peel it and, off. Yep. Oh my god, that's nice. There's also in the case. It's on the other side as well. Well guys, it's done. Look at this. My first custom built PC. Dude, like it looks so good. Look Watch at it. Watch it not turn on now. Okay, if it doesn't turn on, then I'm gonna be pissed, and I'm just gonna just throw sh throw it out the window. <laughs> no, probably not throw out the window, but but guys, let's see if it'll power on. All right, guys. Well, it's all ready. I just hooked up my monitor and everything else I usually use in my videos, but everything is hooked up. Don't worry about the cable management back there. But seriously, guys, thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers. That really does mean a lot. Please subscribe to his channel. His channel is in the description down below. Show him some love. He's five away to, to a 100. Yeah. So be sure to click that subscribe button. So, guys, without further ado, let's power this on, shall we? All right. So let's go and press this thing right here. I'll, I'll power it on. Okay. Nothing exploded yet. And now, moment of truth. Whoa! So there is. Hold light on. And they oh. Turn the monitors yeah. on. Yes! Woo! Oh my god, dude! And guys, look at this. Everything is booted up, everything's connected, everything's working. Dude. This guy, guys, this could not have happened if it wasn't for you guys. You guys are freaking amazing. Thank you guys so so much for 400 subscribers wrote the 500 subs we are nearly there we're at 443 subs we are nearly the 500 let me know what you guys want me to do for a 500 subscriber special because that that's we're almost near half a thousand yeah that's freaking insane dude so guys thank you guys so much for your undying support please be sure to subscribe to brady's channel his I'm channel gonna make some content i promise guys he hasn't uploaded like what up, like two months yeah it's been a while. Yeah. So please show him some love. He's five subs, uh, subscribers away from uh, 100 subscribers. His channel is in the description down below. So guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please let me know in the comments what you want me to do in the next video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Zombie Slayer 2948 signing off. Peace out, guys. <laughs> <laughs>